I'm Lawrence Williams. I'm the founder and president of the United States Helpful Food Council. We're the entity that's behind uh, REAL certification. REAL stands for Responsible Epicurean and Agricultural Leadership. It is a third-party voluntary nutrition and sustainability certification program. What we're trying to do is encourage uh, what we call like best practices in the industry. You want to give the chef the creativity to do his thing, but you want to encourage best practices that would better align the sort of financial interests that are the businesses behind the, the restaurant. Often, you know, the, the chef is the owner. Many times the chef's not the owner. And better align those interests with the long-term societal benefits of healthier food. And that's really how we kind of developed this best practices. It's related to both nutrition and sustainability. And we've really tried to blend those. And really the goal of the organization is to make healthful and sustainable food <clears throat> more profitable. Because right now, I feel like one of the reasons why we've ended up where we are with our food system is because you know it's being driven very much by just the economic interests. I mean, these are businesses; they're not you know social enterprises. And unless you can really align the financial interests with the nutrition and sustainability interests, then you're going to have this conflict. So you know, we often say we got to align the bottom line with the waistline. We've rolled out in uh, Washington D.C. We've got. Uh, 20 of, I would say, some of the most influential restaurants involved, everything from fine dining to, you know, mid-level founding farmer, you know, casual uh, full-service restaurants to some of the, the more um, forward-looking new chains that are out there um, in even the sort of fast casual and uh, quick service space um, like Shop House and, and uh, Energy Kitchen. <laughs> The main reason we're here is to celebrate the leaders in this industry, like Elizabeth and like the other restaurants that are the first certified restaurants. Everybody's here to celebrate. Food should be about celebration, bringing people together. The last thing we want really is having to worry. When you go into a restaurant, which we're all doing more and more, you really want to be able to go in and just order what you want the same way as if you went to dinner at your parents' house or your spouse's cooking or anyone else. You shouldn't really have to worry, like look at the calorie counts and things like that. And that's what we're trying to bring back with real certification. So thank you all for coming. Please enjoy the organic wine and the wonderful raw vegan uh, appetizers. And don't get the wrong vegan what we're trying to do is create, using competition, which is a very business-like concept, to create a, a virtuous cycle of restaurants competing on quality and these other uh, other factors like nutrition sustainability, you know, use of organic, use of local, all of these things where it's a, a virtuous cycle of competition as opposed to what's been kind of a vicious cycle of, you know, if we just cut costs here, we can undercut our competitor, we can give a bigger portion. And so you've got a vicious cycle of, you know, more sugar, more salt, more, more fat and bigger and bigger portions and everybody's competing on that and it's really brought us down to I believe a very low common denominator. The problem that I, we're trying to help solve is the fact that there are really little economic interests that would really motivate a restaurant to want to serve healthful food. You know, the most profitable foods are the foods that we eat and they tend to not be the most healthful foods. So the idea is how can we better align those two things? I think that the, the eat real is um, you know, it's the beginning of a trend that we're going to see. Um, I think it's really important. People want to know where their foods come from. They want to know how their food's prepared. And I think for, you know, for Lawrence to bring that really to the table, no pun intended, but to bring that to the table and say, you know, it's time that we offer, you know, more information about um, restaurants. So that when you go out to dine, you can make educated choices about, you know, all these restaurants, the food might taste good, but don't you want to know where it's come from? I mean, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. I just believe that there is a wow factor in the food, in, in food, and people are thrilled to be here. And so people, so many people don't understand that wow factor is because it is so fresh. Um, it's just, it's an amazing difference. I mean, the nutritional value of local food, of a food that was just picked yesterday and you're cooking it today. Again, knowing who grows your food and how they handle it and, and who they are is so important. It translates into my being and my spirit and when, and not even that I'm cooking it, but it's in my kitchen, but when we cook it, 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 uh, it all, it's all part of the whole deal. And when our guests eat it, it just makes a world of difference because our love and passion is in that food. And that's very, very important in cooking food. 
My name is Josh Hahn. I'm the operating partner of Eat Well DC. We own and operate five restaurants in the district, three here in Logan Circle, one in the west end of DuPont Circle, and one in Columbia Heights. Uh, we also own and operate our own private farm. It's a 13-acre farm uh, in Southern Maryland. I think their mission is, is one that we believe in, um, and the people that are behind the mission, I think, are very impressive. We want, hopefully, to support them to allow them to get the message out about, about us and these other restaurants where people should go if they want to support businesses who um, you know, serve farm fresh food and serve ethically raised proteins and, and uh, you know, use recyclable products and, and green chemicals um, and um, you know, care deeply about making sure that the people that come eat in the restaurants are getting the best product possible and not just the you know, cheapest, fastest, um, easiest uh, products available. I think a lot of people say they want to you know, spend their money a certain way or eat a certain way, um, but when push comes to shove, um, they don't want to do the work to find out where to go. There's hopefully better resources coming that, that will give people that, that knowledge and that information to make, to make the decision. There's a whole new generation, I feel like, of people that are really want to eat real. They really, you know, understand how, you know, their grandparents ate and how the food system has changed. And they're, they're really, it's an awakening, I think, that's happening right now.